Hey everybody, this is going to be kind of a, a short vid. I was... <sighs> yesterday really drained me creatively, so... Um, I did make these three tops and that fourth tower and a top. Um, we also got a little deck going on down there. But anyways, um, my plan is today when I go into work is to design uh, either the... Uh, the demonic warships or look at me I'm shaking uh, the demonic warships or um, buildings and I'm also thinking about tacking on that table which is just absolutely full of stuff uh, just to give you some extra room on the end here I thought it'd be kinda cool to do like a mini um, like gladiatorial coliseum because that just would strike me as uh, you know the way demons would would pass their time like watching football so to speak um so that's what's going down um hopefully i can design some other stuff while i'm at work and that's what's going on um So, um, just a, um, got a question for you guys. Do you guys like these, these, uh, 24 hour kind of marathons? Cause it, it was like, I want to say what, uh, like 12 hours yesterday and, um, about another 12. I know that the, uh, God, I can't even believe I'm saying this, but the brickwork on that's going to be ugly. But I think it's going to really, you know, take it up a notch. Besides, I want to be able to actually use, like, the old D&D &D rules, which is based on uh, the one-inch grid system. And so I want to do all the decks uh, in one-inch grids so you can technically uh, play the old-school game on it. And uh, it'll just make, you know, movement and distance and breath weapons and all that other fun stuff uh, a little more uh, applicable um, the buildings are going to be a real problem because I'm going to have to do those on the uh, on the uh, edges of the one inch square so that's going to be ugh, no fun but um, I'm really happy with it um, I know some people liked the other table better, and that that's that's fine. That's awesome because this is gonna be able to do that too. Um, like I said, um, I just got really inspired when I saw the uh, the uh, the Carthage documentary. And I thought, you know, I could do that in a much more interesting background, and um, some really good ideas. Um, Somebody mentioned for the the water to possibly be blood. Um, I did think of that, but it's super cool that um, whoever that person was, me and him were on the same wavelength. Um, because when it's fire and when it's lava, um, it's kind of hard to have like swimming style stuff. I'd like to have like some swimming style creatures some tentacle beasties in there. Uh, another person uh, mentioned poison. I thought that was really slick. That I didn't think of. Um, another one that I thought of was maybe like some sulfurous, uh, like sickly yellow water. Um, so that could be kind of cool. Um, I know sulfur is usually a solid but I mean, it's hell. You can do whatever you want. You can make it almost like mercury, where it's like a dry water, but a, a water. Um, just lots and lots of potential. Uh, I really appreciate your guys' ideas and inputs. Um, the the decks where they were gonna have like the tortured prisoners on it. I thought it would be really uh, a neat uh, city element that that's what they do to thieves that they catch. They take thieves and they chain them up. And um, above the thieves are, like, the demon guards, you know, they're winged, that's the only way they can get up there. And so, uh, 
the best way to catch a thief is with a, with a thief, and the way that the thieves are able to eat is by uh, pointing out thieves in the crowd that the uh, the demons can swoop do swoop down on and, and snatch them. Um, and um, I also thought it'd be kind of cool that like when when uh, various people die, um, someone said it was would be really cool like uh, and and this idea was was very new to me and I, I really like it that they use souls as currency. Um, and that this is like the first drop-off point for, uh, for their physical bodies, and from there they get, uh, uh, shuffled off to whatever plane that, that they're supposed to be going to. So, um, I thought that was a really slick idea, whoever thought of that. Um, so my thought process is, is on this plane, you know, when you die, um, they basically throw your body on a boat and they ship you off to your next plane and, uh, you know, you start anew. But uh, there's just lots of interesting um, stuff, uh, potential there. Um, the color scheme I think I'm going to stick with, but you want to have about three different colors, at least. Uh, possibly four when you're doing... Um, tables like this, or they become, uh, I don't know if this is the right word, monochromatic. They're just, you know, there's not enough variation. So I think I'm going to go with like black, uh, uh, I want to say limestone, the feathered stone, marble, like black marble look, if I can pull it off. And then go with brass, or actually, actually, I picked up two two colors. I'm not sure which one I like more. I picked up uh, antique gold and bronze. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. And I was thinking about either having the roofs be uh, like a, a blood red. Um. Or something along those lines, because I think like black, gold, and red would would really make a, a striking uh, looking table. Um, but uh, if you guys have some other ideas that you think would be kind of cool, um, throw them out there. Um, I always love input. Um, so it's coming along really good. I'd say I've got between twelve and thirteen hours in on it. Actually, I took an hour off to eat, and I worked an hour, so I'm still at about 12. So, um, my goal is to put in another 12 hours and hopefully uh, finish. Probably won't, because uh, brickwork, like I said, just takes forever. But, um, for those of you who, who don't like this style, don't worry. It, it, can, it can take on a, a bunch of different possibilities. Um... I'm just experimenting and having fun. So I want to thank everybody uh, who's gotten involved in this. Um, it's made a very, um, a very fun experience for me. And I just, um, I kind of feed off of your guys' energy. And, um, but um, thanks for, for all your comments. And uh, I unfortunately have to go to work, and I will try and design some stuff, and I'll try and keep my time documented. Obviously, I can't do it in a 12-hour block now, because I'm practically working a 12-hour block to begin with. But um, anyhow, um, thank you, and if you guys have ideas, um, let me know. So I will talk to you guys, um, well, I'll be getting home at about either 3 or 4.30, so <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.